Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sizam. I'm going to show you how to use this program called Vox Edit. This program is available on your PC as well as Mac. I am using a PC right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I did this particular 3D artwork. It's a picture of a floor lamp. Uh, this is just a beginning, a beginner's uh, introduction video. So even though it's a beginner's um, introduction video, it's going to get quite overwhelming quite fast so I'm just gonna you know water it down follow me step by step if you are very new to this and uh, let's go so open up your Vox edit and then oh to download Vox edit I put a I put a link in the description box down below so you can go ahead and download that thing and install it and run it so once you run it you will see this um, window over here and a welcome page so all these things modeler animator block template templates are great you can make use of it but to edit this thing there are certain steps that you must follow but I will get into this one in a later video all right but for now we're just gonna go ahead and create our first object which is a floor lamp so to do that I want you to click on animator this side here over here so let's create a new asset so you're being presented with three options here create new asset open file and import box don't worry about all these things just click on create new asset now you can save this new asset in your own folder uh, i made a my own folder called box edit that's where i'll be saving this file all right so i'm just going to go ahead and name this creation as floor lamp and I'm going to save in box edit here and click save okay so now you're being presented with all these things right all these windows now don't worry the thing that you are most gonna be focusing on is here this window over here right in the center now this one you will see there's an arrow shaped uh, here sign here and you're gonna see a green line and red line and blue line now all these things represent the x y and z directions this is where you are going to see how your object is going to be orientated all right and here on the right side you will see library and inspector inspector is where you're going to set all the position x y and z we're going to go into that later on but for now let's get on into creating your object so inside this library window just click here here is where you'll be presented with the option new import import box and delete so click on new vxm this is what you will be creating uh, with me right now so here I'm going to just I'm just gonna click on I'm just gonna type in um, lamp base so you're gonna start off the base. Is it gonna be a floor lamp, all right? So we're gonna just gonna start from the bottom, and then we work ourselves to the top. Then here, we just click on create model. All right. So here, this one. Again, you see this green, red, and blue represented by here. See, green, red, and blue. So there's numbers here: 32, 32, and 32. What does that mean? It means that you are the space that you're working on you know can occupy 32 blocks now when i zoom in you can zoom in using your scroller on your mouse so here see this that look at my cursor the mouse cursor there is a blinking uh, pulsating square right and I, when i move up i can actually count all the way up to 32 up and here on the red line and the blue line so 32 space you can change this right you can create as big of an object as you want but there's a limit to this and the limit is that it can only go up to 256 see 256 that's that's how big it can go but for now let's just set it to 32 for now okay so 32 is quite big 32 blocks later on we're going to see how big our object is going to be so for the floor lamp all we need is actually the size of about 
16. Okay, just change this to 16. And the height, for the height, we will need a 64. Double that of 32. And for the blue line, just click on 16. So we'll create some sort of a, a perfect square base here. It's, well, well, we're not gonna create a square base. We're gonna create something like a circle. So here, we can actually see see this this option here you, you can actually mark a we can select this is the select mode this is what we'll be using to create and the color is this one to erase is this one so now make sure your uh, options okay you click on this to create and click on here instead of the pencil tool we're going to use this block tool here the box tool so once you're done now we're going to set the color there you can see down here this is the palette this is where you can create your colors but you're also given this set of colors here you can use but i would like to use a much darker color so i'm going to just click here and to create right click on the plus sign now this color uh, we can actually adjust and select the color that we want i am going to just click on here just to create a very dark color it seems like this is the purple color I think it doesn't matter because as long as we can get it up to here it looks a bit gray so that's perfect so for the base I'm just gonna click here and zoom in this is the floor all right this is the right the bottommost part so I'm just going to click here at the corner and drag like that to cover the whole space okay that's it now we've got the base of the floor length now I don't want it to be square so I'm just going to delete a few things over here at the corners so to delete and to erase click here the eraser tool and then just click one see I'm just erasing one corner here 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 and here it still looks like a square right except that kind of like uh, there's a chip at the corner over here so let's make more chips <laughs> I mean let's chip away at this corner here one two one not there you can you can undo by uh, clicking on ctrl z or you can go on to edit and click undo so let's chip away at the corners over here and there you have it let's chip away some more to make it a bit more rounded like that and we're done see quick and easy okay so that is that is done so here we have a few options over here right we got the main and i'm going to rename this as the base rename layer so we can also make another layer so that we do not uh, accidentally make some changes over here if we do not wish to so i would like to create the stem or the pole all right of the lamp so to do that i'm just going to create a new layer now i can also just go ahead and you know just start creating click here on the same layer on the base layer click on the create button click on the box tool and then just go ahead click here see I just created a, a rectangle here and I'm just gonna add some more and add on until there's a see I'm just gonna build on top until I create some sort of a pole right up to the top I can do that and adding on to this layer but you know in case you want to move that pole around right it'll be easier if it is on its own layer so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna show you how to create this particular layer okay and more layers if you need to so I'm just gonna undo what I did there and create a new layer just click on the plus sign over here and there you are a new layer so here I'm just gonna click on this edit button here rename it as poll now you have the whole area here to work on for this new layer you can also hide this base layer so that you don't see it so that you don't get you don't let this base layer obstruct your view on while working on this new layer for the pole all right so let's begin with the pole i've just hidden the base so we are free now to see where we are going to place our blocks so click on create this create button here and this box tool 
and uh, just draw somewhere in the middle see now feel free to move around using your right click mouse button your mu right mouse button just click on it and then just rotate like this all right where will the rotation the center of rotation be it will be anywhere that you click on so I'm, if i'm gonna rotate around here this is what i'll be clicking on all right so if i want to the center of rotation will be here this is where i will be clicking on okay so now that we have the the block over here right right and the somewhere in the center here if you if you made it somewhere here you can also you know reorient it and you can move it how do you move it you need to select this this block here right so click on this selection tool over here and then you click on this this is where this is called the screen rack tool this is actually very useful where you can actually click anywhere on screen and create a rectangle over your object and it will select whatever thing that is within that screen rectangle that you've just drawn in this case we've selected all of this now if i were to click on here right let's undo that if i were to click on here i can i cannot click anywhere on screen and accept the blocks that i've just created here see and select this is useful if you want to select a, a selection of your of your blocks that you've just created on screen so but for now let's create let's select all of it okay just click and drag all of this now you can move around if you wish if you want to place it over here or over here anywhere all right so i'm just going to place it somewhere in the center something like this and done just click here to deselect and click anywhere else on screen all right so now that we have here now a quick way to build up the pole will be here i'm going to show you a quick way okay so click here all right and click on the select the create tool now that we have this corner over here just click and drag draw so it's going to be one box size that's it and i'm just going to select remember this selection tool click on the screen rack tool and then select click and drag like that and then now you can just move it to the center see something like that okay now why is it not in the center because your grid is like six your your space is like 16 by 16 so to be in the middle you actually need this to be uh, an odd number right so that you can have if you have 15 you have 7 on this side you have 7 on this side and the middle will be the middle which is one block but in this case this is an even number so let's even it out let's make this pole instead of one which is an odd number make it two by two so here click here the create button and now i'm going to introduce you a new tool which is here this is called a face tool when you click on this it will create on the face itself on this side or whatever side that you click on let's let's see it okay when i click here now where will i click because i place it over here and it looks a bit odd to the side here so i would like to create to extend right to make it wider so click here see when i click here i do not have to click one by one until the end i just click one time and then it will create this block the whole block here using this face so it will extend for me very easy very convenient and that's it so now we are right in the middle but over here it is still looking not in the middle so we're just going to click over on this side so that we even it out so now it looks a lot better and now we are right in the center of the space over here now let's take a look at your base layer 
now unhide it by clicking on this eye uh, button over here and now we have the base of your floor lamp awesome right okay so this is done so next we need to create the, the bulb itself now for the bulb it, you can draw it over here on its own right but for the purposes later on i'm going to show you we will create the bulb on a different object and then we're going to combine it all together so for this the base we are done so congratulate yourself if you have done that now we have to go back by clicking on this arrow tool over here so when you click here it asks you does it do you want to make uh, the save the changes so click on yes now a good practice will be this every time you finish creating something every five minutes maybe much earlier than that maybe every five steps it is good practice that you click on this to save or you click on Control s well, we didn't do that because i need to rush this uh tutorial but anyway make sure you do that okay so let's click here go back and click on save so now we have the lamp base so here on this side over here this skeleton here on the left side there there's this thing called root this is where you, you will place all the things that you want to place so click here on this section right here all right click on create child node instead of the import we will go into the import hierarchy thing later on uh, in the next few videos but for now just click click on create child node and we're going to name this node as the base and we got a base and just click here right from the library and then drag it into here the base and this is click here if you, okay if you have this problem here where you you suddenly see that hey where is my object and it's so hard to recenter it click here to recenter to reset the view and you'll be presented here all right so we got this now notice no, do you notice that this base is actually not in the center the center is supposed to be here isn't it so to recenter this thing you need to or uh, you need to set the center point in for this object do you see this this is the what we call the pivot point of the object which is here which is like away like at the corner now uh, let's make it right in the center of the object to do that I want you to do this click on this object over here okay click on it and then here on the left side window you can see this, these options and there's this pencil tool click on it this is where you will see when you want to edit this thing okay now another thing about this uh, box edit uh, tool app or program software when you click anything when you place your mouse over any object see look at my mouse here and look at the bottom of the screen you can see this thing here it will change to describe what that object is which is like which is very useful for you right so this is what we call the edit model click on it now to set the pivot point for this object here this click on here see this is called a pivot tool now here is where you will set where your center of rotation of your object is going to be so i'm just going to set here now look this is 16 16 and 64 right so we're going to set this to the middle which means it's going to be in the center halfway point of that is 8 so make sure this is set to 8 you can press on your shift button while you click and drag to set it to increments of 0 0.5 all right so but we want eight so let's go to eight so this one set it to eight as well so now we have directly in the center but for the y-axis up and down we will set it to zero right at the, at the bottom around here so this is fine and this is done click back and click save now you can see that this is right smack in the middle of our scene now this is the scene all right this is where i'm going to place all the objects we've got the, the lamp base right now what is missing is the bulb as well as the lamp shade now we're going to create the bulb right now click on here 
and click on new VXM again and this time around we're gonna type in bulb and click on create now for the bulb I'm gonna introduce you something else which is the color and we're gonna make this color glow which is awesome now why this matters is because the lamp uh, is having it's gonna be lighted up right so but before we do that let's create that lamp itself now we had that lamp base which is 16 by 16 correct now the lamp the bulb itself is going to be a little bit smaller so set it to about 8 half of that 8 by 8 8 by 8 by 8 all right now use the create button over here and use this tool over here but this time around we're going to use this tool which is the rack we call it a screen rack tool all right so that it will make our job faster so we just click and drag like that so you create a whole cube and the size is 8 by 8 by 8 but let's make it 12 instead of 8 okay sorry about that so let's click on create tool I'm gonna create the click on the face tool just click like that and build it up it's gonna be a, a rectangle all right so that is done so we are not gonna make it into a in a block like this a, a bulb but this is voxels okay so you can do whatever you want in voxel style which is you know cubit cuboid and a very sharp edges but for this tutorial for this purposes I'm just going to smoothen it out by using this erase tool and using this box tool and I'm just gonna chip away cut off the end the corners over here one two three oops four see make it less boxy I would say okay another one another step here 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 do the same for the bottom over here one two rotate three four okay now notice that the color is currently purple we don't want that change it to yellow or better still orange now I want you to do this for this orange color click on this this is emissivity when you click this here's what's gonna happen I want you to color this how do you color that click on this palette tool this paint mode and then click on the face tool see this is one side now this side as you can see it's much brighter so this will actually help you to you know make it more convincing that this is a bulb and it is light up so I'm just going to click here here although you can also use this screen rack tool click and cover this whole thing to cover the whole to paint the whole object here alright so that is done now you can also add some a bit of styling if you wish see this this is yellow I am also going to click here this emissivity tool and I'm just gonna paint you can't really see it right so I'm just gonna undo that I'm just gonna change this color to a much darker color and make this a bit more orangey just edit this thing still can't see that I'm just gonna edit that thing and make it a bit darker something like this okay so now you can actually see so now you can actually paint at random over here just draw paint some dots over here so that you can see that hey it's not a uniform yellow light actually there's some orangey light coming out from here how orangey is it? it is up to you you can set it like that or like this so I prefer it this way okay okay so I think we are done with this thing it looks like a lantern right okay remember this this thing over here this is the pivot tool this is very important because you're gonna place this li this light bulb right at the top of your uh, base remember that the pole so you have to make sure that this pivot point is right in the center so here take note that this is 8 by 8 right 
so you have to set it in the middle which is 4 and this is also 4 just click and move it here 4 4 by 4 and for the y-axis just set it to 0 all right we, we can change this later on if we, if we need to so now go back and click save now we have the ball so we ha we need another node to attach to this base right so you can either attach to this base or you can make a new node on its own right for okay when we attach to a base we can actually move the both objects together based on this base over here so i'm going to show you uh, how to do that click here instead of here okay this option here click on create child node and we're going to name it as ball b l b okay so that is done click and drag this bulb object into this now notice that the the default is zero by zero by zero right and that's why it is right at the base so i want you to raise it all up here i'm just going to zoom in so they can have a clearer look okay how high about 52 right at the top over here you can extend it all the way if you wish but for now just at the top right there now notice that there's just some flickering over here now this is what we call the z fighting because uh, the computer actually doesn't know what to display you want to display the base the pole or do you want to display the bulb because the alignment is very is like right exactly at it um, together so it's like clash there's a clash over here so to 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 uh, not to alleviate this problem here i want you to do this move this thing this light bulb s downwards okay by 0 0.1 like that see or you can just yeah just move it a little bit down like that so there is no okay to 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 see what i mean okay to see the exact you can click here click on the ball click on inspector this is the time for you to look at the inspector see this this is the y-axis now actually the, it only shows uh, up to the 0.1 decimal actually there's a lot more you can that's why when i move it slow when when i click and move it down slightly right see this it doesn't show it actually moved by about 0 0.001 i think and it doesn't show but it it did move by 0 0.001 that's why you don't see that flickering over there right but to be safe just click on 52 or oh, 51.9 okay so that from far away there is no question that this thing this position okay it does not clash with your base by clash i mean clash in terms of the computer displaying your object all right okay so now we have the bulb and the lamp base and what i mean by this bulb being attached to this instead of it having its own node here's what i mean when you move this base you're also moving the bulb itself all right now if you have this bulb okay let's let's do a practice here click on this bulb and drag to the root see now it is on its own node right so when you click on this base you will not move the bulb now this is, is this is going to come in uh, quite uh, this is going to be very important later when, I'm, when we are making the lamp shade okay but for now let's click the bulb and move it back into the base and now it is you know grouped together well you can call it group all right i think that's the term i, I the correct term i guess we're grouping all these things together okay so that we, now that we have grouped the base and the lamp what we're going to do now is create the lamp shade okay for the lamp shade we just need one object and then we're just going to duplicate that object and then cover this whole bulb over here right at the top to, to do the lampshade just click on new vxm 
and click on shade now this is going to be so easy so we're just going to need one flat object so what is the, the size that we're going to be doing now we need to cover that the bulb right and have a little bit more space so cover the bulb and add some more extra over here so to we know the bulb size the height which is 12 remember the y-axis it is 12 by 8 by 8 so the height is 12 we need to extend it the lampshade must cover the bulb and go a bit more so 12 by maybe 6 i guess so it's going to be 18 so set it to 18 over here and how about the length and width so how 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 much are we going to add on so the, the the bulb is eight we have to extend so the lamp shade right we're going to have a piece of it okay then we're going to duplicate into a circle into a like a cylinder right so we just need a one piece of it so this one piece is going to be you can you you can make it into maybe eight the size of that bulb itself i think it is fine so let it uh, set it to 8 and 8 the size of the bulb oh my apologies for this blue line over here set it to just 1 because we're just going to create a flat surface a flat shape like that and then we're going to duplicate it and create a cylinder around the bulb all right so now what will our lamp shape color be is going to be white so click here to create a new color just move this thing over at this corner you can move all the way right to the corner that is totally white that is good now we're going to create the surface so use this red select screen rack tool and then click here and there we have it now let's do the pivot tool it's so important here just click here make it to the center shall we make it to the center let me think uh, okay do not make it in the center okay i want you to set it to zero because we're going to create a group of all these lampshade and for this blue move it all the way to zero as well done here the green one to zero as well okay so now that we have that this is the pivot okay we, you're gonna see how important this is gonna be later on why we set it to zero 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 okay so let's just color it okay just for fun this is what i like to do and you can experiment this yourself so i want to create an, another color it's gonna be a little bit darker i'm just gonna use this box tool use this paint mode just just randomly add some colors over here at the base like that okay I don't want it to be purple I'm just gonna be make it a bit grayish something like this okay so this is perfect just gonna go back out click yes and now okay now we're gonna create another node and it's from the base not the root okay so we're gonna attach to the base itself so click here and click create child node and this is going to be called the lamp shade now this is going to be the parent okay the main lamp shade and within this lamp shade will be the shades okay so create another node inside lamp shade so click cl create child node and type in lamp type in shade one see it is within this group all right now this shade click and drag over here see see this okay now that we have this lamp shade but it's right at the bottom don't worry click on this main lamp shade group and pull it all the way up there see now here see this we need to move this thing okay because it is cutting into the light bulb that's not what we want we need to move this light, the shade one click and drag like that over there see this 
where is it click on here the blue it is minus six okay so we'll put it at minus seven okay so now what we need to do is duplicate this shade one right click here this options here for shade one shade one and click on and type in shade two so now that we have shade two over here now this is a node on its own within the lamp shade group right now we would like to attach shade two to shade one so that we can have uh, make it easy for us to build the lamp shade later on I mean, you're gonna see what I mean okay so click on shade two and drag it into shade one so that it will be within shade one object now notice that the position is way off like this it's all being offset so I want you to go ahead and go on to the inspector window over here and click on reset for the position and reset the rotation if you wish so now we have shade 2 I want you to move this shade 2 here to the left all right eight points and make sure it's touching shade 1 now this is where the pivot point just now we adjusted the pivot point right this is where it comes in uh, it, it shows that how important this is, this is actually now I want you to rotate to 300 see 300 degrees done now duplicate shape 2 and call it shape 3 now, now we got shape 3 click and drag into shape 2 like that all right so see it automatically adjusts itself right because it, it copies it duplicates this whole thing it also copies in all the position and the rotation based on the shape 2 and then now that we have attached it to shape 2 it will just follow on so I want you to do the same for shape 3 duplicate that and call it shape number 4 and click and drag into shape 3 and then do the same with shape 4 and click and drag into shape 4 duplicate shape 5 call it shape 6 and drag it into shape 5 and then we have a perfect close all right so now we have our lamp shade now the thing about vox edit is that there is no way we can create a, a translucent or even transparent object but that doesn't matter because we can actually do that within another software which can display our 3d object later on i'm going to show you how but for now let's add something interesting to this lampshade go to the library we're going to add some freely stuff at the bottom of the shade click on edit and at the bottom here all right i want you to erase erase click on here the box tool erase one two three and four and then go back you see this now this allows some light from the bulb to pass through the shade a little bit okay it's going to look very interesting later on okay so yeah we've we've done this it's done so what i want you to do now is this click on file click on export and click on export gltf now this is powerful okay i want you to do this you go to any folder that you wish you just create a folder called call it 3d objects and then type in uh, floor lamp okay save it here as a gltf and click save we are going to use this software called light tracer render so now that you have your gltf file I want you to go to this website called lighttracer.org I'm going to put a link in the description box below and then they have this awesome tool where you, can, where you can display your 3D model and then make some adjustments to it add some lighting and ambient colors and ambient lighting and all these things alright so go to that site they have it for free you can try it for free as a free trial you can download their app you know 
on your PC you can also use it for free using your browser to do all these things even on your tablet on your browser so let's have a look I'm using my browser right now so they're asking me to import so I'll go to model import so click on your folder find where you save your floor lamp GLTF model click and drag into the window and click on replace and you see I have my model over here awesome so click here this arrow here to open this up now you will see all these things remember what you did floor lamp bulb so for the bulb we're gonna set the emissivity okay later on but for now let's create the environment this environment this is this is what we see okay the HDRI map we don't want this we're gonna change it to gradient so here click gradient down below oh uh, we have to get the subscription to unlock but that doesn't matter then in that case click here the, the this arrow tool click on power skill scale it all the way down like that and you can see it is all dark now I want you to click on here this plus sign over here and click on round floor and immediately you will see a difference here you can actually see the shadow is being cast on the floor now for the bulb click on the bulb and click on properties and all you can read all these things right you can adjust the roughness and all the same but what we want to see now is the emission here the power is set to one i want you to set to you know scroll it set it to much higher now you can see there's some blooming going on you can see the light it's very strong light on the bulb and being see the light is being cast downwards and through the lampshade see that that is cool so now if you have a subscription to this you can open up more options like uh, set the gradient we don't want to see this uh, background you can change that right you can also change the rotation of this background as you wish see set the power as well to really low like that you can also do this add another object the UV sphere okay why because we're gonna make this as a light source see this UV sphere I want you to set the power the emission power go to properties emission power set all the way up like that so this will be the light source but not too strong maybe about 18 okay put it one side but we still see this this globe we don't want that so I want you to click here this changes the visibility and click another time to make it you know make the object uh, disappear but the light doesn't disappear see okay you can export this click here you can export the image as a JPEG you can set you can click on the settings you can set how big you want this image to be right 16 by 9 you can set the width here animation there's also animation you can do but we'll get into that into uh, in the next video all right so that's it for this quick tutorial i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next video goodbye